What is Justin doing? Was he thinking about using Birdie against... Hey, he actually told me yesterday that he is thinking about picking up Birdie, but I think it was more like, in the future, I might pick up Birdie rather than... My Birdie's sick enough to play against Punk in the top eight, but we'll see. I don't we'll know. We're, do we're getting this situation here. Oh, okay, no, Justin says, you know what, no. It is, it, is ah, a, it is a matchup that Birdie probably wins over Karen, but I, I just don't... I think that Justin has that ready yet. Yeah. Maybe someday, but right now, Karen Karen is where he's lining up. And thank you, Justin, for not picking also Red Karen. Because <laughs> that would have been kind of confusing. Probably. Yeah, sorry, kids. Oh, All right, so this is Losers. Punk has just been on a tear. He mm. beat Snake Eyes 3-0. He beat Ricky Ortiz 2-0. He beat Daigo 2-0. He beat Shaohai 2-0. He beat Vagabond 2-0. That is an incredible Jesus. resume over the last several it's matches like he's Capcom had. Capcom Cup and EVO Champions and... and it's, it's remarkable. So he's clearly on a tear and it's going to be tough for Justin to stop that momentum. Already Punk has the corner. We've mentioned too that... Look, Punk is, I think, the, the top Karen in the world right now. And a lot of people are talking about how to emulate his style and Justin as well has talked about it too. I thought Justin was doing it earlier this weekend, but in top eight didn't seem like it. He's got to have the very quick change to control things better, to optimize better. The interesting thing to me right now about Punk, though, is that, I mean, he's usually pretty, uh, uh, you know, jovial guy. Always has a smile on his face. But right now, he is, like, serious mode. Oh, yeah. Well, it's in top eight, and he's used that serious mode to get through an incredible gauntlet, like we said. So he's keeping it up so far. Round one goes to him. Pay attention to this neutral game because they both, I think, are very, very strong in, in footsies. But the way that Punk optimizes the footsies, what he whiff punishes with, what he pressures with and moves with, it's just so tough for anybody to deal with, even one of the all-time greats, Justin Wong. It's just, just this button timing that Punk has that's so Look at that. Do you see the whiff punish? Yeah. You see him walk out of the roundhouse. You know in that situation, Karen wants roundhouse activate. What she wants. Yeah. He knows that as well as anybody, and so he takes the tiniest step outside <laughs> of roundhouse range well, and then hits his own in expectation. I don't know that that's a straight whiff punish. That's really tough. But he did, in fact, get the button out with a timing where if Justin had pressed roundhouse, his roundhouse works. Even that's earlier okay. in the first round. Okay, there's a little bit if of If you did a reaction, there, yeah, shout yeah, out yeah, to uh, you, uh, bud. Uh, but uh, earlier in the round, he got into a range where he knew Justin wanted to go for that V skill because Karens love that V skill. And he immediately backdashed out of that range, and out came the V skill, and what happened? Immediate whiff punish with the crouch heavy kick. Right. So you're right. Punk is good at walking into your range so that you are willing to attack him, and then he just backs out. He, the reason why he whiff punishes so well is because he's not just raw reacting to you hitting buttons. He's trying to get you to hit the buttons. He's, he baits you. He, he will dangles that bait in front of you. And now it looks like Justin's going to go with Chun-Li. And this is a character that Punk has actually told Justin. He feels like Justin should use Chun-Li. And if he does, then, Jun then Justin will win some events. He says he doesn't think Justin can win events with Karen. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, I, I know that Punk and Justin played a lot when Punk went up to Justin's place in Running California. So they have a lot of experience against each other. Oh, the shimmy stuff gets the, gets the punish. And Keeping Punk just Justin harassing. in the corner, yeah. yeah. Look at this range where he's attacking from. Comes in with the V-Skill, after that backing off again. Oh, he does walk into a button though. Justin, nice confirm. But see, this is the reason why like, a Chun-Li might work for Justin in this matchup, because Chun-Li has the range of buttons. When you have the same range as Punk, and as great as Justin is, I don't think he's out in Punk. Doesn't seem like but it. But if he has a character with the range that Chun-Li has, perhaps he can do a better job keeping Punk out. You can see it's, it's working out really well so far. Oh boy. That was safety first stuff for most of it until just at the end, but right after, fine, get away. Just get out of there. Oh, yeah, there we go, that stand heavy punch. Punk trying to take advantage of the block towards medium punch by dashing in. Justin had a standing fierce waiting for him. Justin now sitting on a full meter. Okay, so a little bit of forward movement too after a lot of walking backwards in the previous round. And because of that, I think Punk not expecting it. Justin backing away. So it's this back and forth again. We've seen that from almost everybody. Couple of walk-up throws from Justin now. Yeah, you can see how Punk's movement has been hampered so much by the footsie range that Chun-Li has. Yeah, it's really constrained. Oh, 
Justin Wong with the standing fierce and a critical art for Max Punish. And Punk with the literal eyes open blinky blink on reaction <laughs> to it. Literally, that's what he did. And a smile from Punk. And he's like, damn it, I should have never told Justin to use Chun-Li. Man, if only this commentator wasn't up there cursing me. <laughs> and Justin Wong there. Sitting off to the side, he knows that that wasn't anything. That's like it's not a message sent. No. He knows that he still has a long road ahead of him. This is loser's side, so the loser of this will be sent home. And look at this, Punk now saying, "Go to character select." Okay, I wonder what the change is. He certainly has a l nice little cast that he can pick from. We've seen Nash from him. We've seen Cam from him. We've seen more than that. Urian. <laughs> yeah, we'll see what he does. <laughs> But I, I did like Justin's play a lot. Nah, looks like Nash. it is going to be the Interpol match okay. here. So if, if Justin's solution was to try to outrange Punk, maybe Punk's solution is to try to play at ranges that Chun-Li has problems with. Outside of her buttons? No, that's not even what it's going to be after all. It's going to be Karen again. Oh, okay. But look, about Justin's play, there was a lot of moving backwards and, and not being in a range at all where Karen could challenge both on the ground and in the air, and she mm -hmm. has really good jump normals, so Justin was at a range where he could, you know, not even anti-air. It wasn't even an issue. chun -Li's lack of anti-air, <laughs> or not lack, but worse anti airs didn't even come up. That said, Punk comes in. Ah, not a good start for Justin. Got this. Justin was barely in the corner in the last game. Oh, that jumping heavy kick. Great jump attack from Chun-Li as well. Didn't chase down the jump back OS quick enough. Yeah, I think he tried with that Pierce. It would have been yeah. pretty sick. Now, Justin, the V trigger for Chun Li is severely nerfed. You can see the timer just runs right out really fast. And Justin overreached a little bit. Punk got some damage. No oh EX lugs. God, yeah, and, and Chun Li can punish sweeps like almost regardless of range. Yeah. Oh, do you see the whiff? The whiff OS from Punk mm -hmm. just throwing out that stand medium punch and says, you know what? If you stick out a button and I hit you, I'm going to combo into Tenko. Actually, that might have just been a raw whiff punish. Justin's got to remember what he did in the first game. He was outside of Karen's ranges, jumping and ground. And he went in more. Not that he even got to decide the spacing a lot of that round, but he did go in at the start of it. Now that roundhouse is on deck. You know Punk wants to activate. There it is. Yep, gets the activation and goes up for the throw. Now Justin in the corner. Ooh. Gets out of there. Smart. Yeah, just uses the wall bounce. He did go in. Wow. Yeah, okay. okay. Right. Looking for a button. I mean, if these two have played each other a lot, there's a lot of uh, mind games that we're not aware of right now. Absolutely. They know each other's tendencies already. Yes. Justin sitting on a V-trigger. Hasn't had a chance to activate. Oh my god, Punk just outside of range. There we go. Justin gets the activation. Very important activation too because now he can get his back away from the corner and he can get the spacing again. Oh, and the confirm! No. Wow! wow. Oh, and it's not even the punish from Punk! What's going on there? Both these guys I expect to have all their stuff on deck. No whiff punish. Very close though. Punk's still super dangerous. If you can find a crouching medium kick. Justin has locked himself too much into the corner right now. Oh, get oh, and he got the instant air head stop. Wow. Just I mean that's It's something that you don't see often from Justin. Yeah. So Punk uh, was not uh, looking for it. And <laughs> very smart of Justin to bring it up that kind of time. Yeah, I, I wonder if that towards medium punch is it supposed to hit three times? I I I only saw two hits from it. Maybe that's why it didn't connect, because it definitely looked like it was something that Justin was confident was going to connect. But Justin escapes that round because Punk just missed his punish. It definitely can't work. Mm. Yeah, smart. Just use that V reverse again. It could have been thrown, but it was activated after the... Oh, he went for EX Fireball, got thrown out of it! Hey, And there again. Super's ready. Yeah, right. just get away. Yeah, Justin's got to figure out a way out of this corner now. Right, because if the if the idea... Oh, he, he wanted to walk to get under. under. He tried to get under. Yeah, not going to happen. That'll be that. If, if the idea is to try to outrange Karen, you can't do it if you're in the corner. Mm -hmm. You just don't have that option. So the game for him Coming has to be win. about ev evading that situation. So now Justin thinking about it. Is he going to character switch or is he going to stick with Chun-Li? I mean, if it's the choice is between Karen and Chun-Li, I would stick with Chun-Li. Well, he's gone to character select, so we'll see what he ends up doing here. Is he thinking about going to birdie? He did take a game off Punk, which uh, 
some of the all-time luminaries could not do this <laughs> weekend. <so. laughs> that's the first time he's lost the game in a while, yeah, so... Yeah. Oh, he is going to stick with Chun, but instead, he is going to the classic Chun-Li. Chun -Li. Yeah, Punk only lost a game to Magneto 1080p, and then now to Justin, after, again, having beaten Vagabond, Shaohai, Daigo, Ricky Ortiz, Snake Eyes, without losing a game. <laughs> that's ridiculous. It is. It is. And very uh, impressive. Like, like we mentioned, he is definitely Round in one. the running for best Street Fighter player Fight. on the planet. I remember when he bodied Fudo at NCR, Fudo, in fact, said afterwards, Punk is the best on the planet right now. Right now, he's doing exactly what he wants to do. The corner, like we said, was super important for him. He got there almost immediately. He got the stun almost immediately. Now Justin is fighting from way behind. I don't know if he's even going to get a chance. That was just... Set play, set play, set play. Like I said, you don't want to block in this game. You don't want to be defensive at all if you can avoid it. At all, you have to play the control and the movement. If you get hit and you get knocked down, almost anybody in this game can take you out. And Punk is one round away now. And yeah, when Karen gets you in the corner like that, it just pretty much doesn't even matter what character you're using. Right. Yeah, I mean, he for Akuma or Chun, whatever. Right. We've seen all of them in the last couple of matches. Okay, not going to be able to confirm anything off of that double crouching light kick. So I love this ground movement by Punk. There was a lot of bulldog. You see that? Walk a block, walk a block. It's almost like he's a grappler trying to come in. Oh, man. All right, back here. Guess what? You're in the corner again, Justin. And see what I mean? The button timing from Punk is so good. And he's tried to anti-air people out of the corner. I think he's looking for crouching strong activate right there. It didn't come. Yeah, yeah backdash gets busted. Oh, the light kick. It traded, though. And now here comes Punk, sitting on a critical arc. Ooh. Oh, what a chase down. And now we're back to this mid-screen, so at least for Justin, that's what he wants. EX, that just like that. That was such a far throw. Oh Punk God. is in there. He needs one more hit. Justin needs a couple. Oh, oh really? dash up. EX legs, not enough to kill. Oh, what a block on the overhead. I don't even think that was a punish on that EX. I, I think Punk it should be, actually. It's supposed to be, but I, I didn't feel like it was to me. But you know what? Justin's gonna stay alive here. Oh, wow, that by the was skin a nail of his biter. teeth. Yeah. If he can take this round just like that, it's 2 2. It feels like this has been all Punk, but actually it's closer than that. Skin. But Punk with a non cancel on that stand medium punch with punish. Oh, that was too far. Interesting. Okay. Punk already has the corner again. Yeah, you know what? That Look at this fight, though, from Justin. That V trigger is not exactly the greatest thing from Chun Li, so just spend all the meter for your rever V reversals. And Punk knows that Justin wants the V reversal yeah. again. Grab, grab, grab. How many times? Are we going to set the record here? Are we setting the record, That's James? Five. Okay, Justin's still willing to block it out. He got oh, it! And a confirm from Punk. You can raw confirm off of just the one hit from the shoulder. He caught Justin pressing buttons. That's it right there, Justin. And Alex Myers coming in Cutting on the winner's wins. side of the bracket. Yeah. Both going 0-2 yeah. afterwards. I, I just love so much how Punk dealt with what Justin's game plan was. It was, it was as we said, to try to evade better, uh, to outrange Karen. Right. And it was a style from Punk to walk slowly, walk slowly, button occasionally, walk slowly until he got the corner. There were two throws. Command dashes into shoulder. There was... Just great patience on the way in. Once he got there, like you said, you were bringing Four. up your reversal at this time as well. Clearly what Justin was bringing out, and Punk five in a row with the grabs, and then excellent confirm afterward. If you can confirm crouching medium kick into stuff, you can definitely confirm that button. Yeah. I mean, that's the he thing. actually might have... I don't know. That was very fast, actually. I wonder if he was <laughs> doing it, but... Uh, I guess I can't put anything past this kid. Yeah, that's just the thing. Is like I said, he saw that Justin just did two re reversals, right? And he used that information, like, okay, Justin's just gonna try to v reversal yeah. everything, try to get me off of him. So I'm just gonna keep throwing a bunch of times, I hear you. and it worked. It I worked hear you. exactly how he wanted to. Got five throws, and that put Justin on his heels. Got him just enough to that range where the shoulder into critical art was gonna kill. Right, right. So, so uh, the way that Punk dealt with Justin's attempt to be away. Was I just felt it was so it was like somebody it was like seeing somebody who has had years of trying to get in on ST guy with Honda walk walk <laughs> walk walk, walk occasional yeah, jump yeah 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 uh -huh. that kind of thing but uh, he, he hasn't had that he's just figured it out on his own uh, as he has in almost every matchup uh, he is such a strong player 
to bring out that kind of bulldogging against a character like Chun, 